Eddie, uh, you're the newcomer to the franchise, so we'll start with you. Um, you played a lot of distinctive characters uh, throughout your career, but never a talking Land Rover. Um, I talk have. About this is the second talking. But actually, I, I'm not actually a, a specific car, I think we need to say, ah. in the lexicon of, of, uh, of contracts and all that kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yes, I do oh. believe so. Oh, That's okay. why uh, Finn McMissile is not actually a specific car. Oh, okay. So a car that looks like a car, but it's not a quite good car. So it's, 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 um, it's interesting, Pekka. It's, it's not something I'd planned at my, my birth. Not that I did a lot of planning at birth. <laughs> I waited until I was three before the plans, and I got out a big smorgasbord and in between the, the the meat I made plans but yeah it's fun I mean working with Pixar that that is just a good thing to do you know they're just a, a good company great ideas John Lasseter he's a big part of it he's the guy who came out of Disney when they said actually go away your ideas are too advanced they didn't actually say that but that's <laughs> what it was and then it, he is now you know Disney Pixar and, and uh, and he brings a good heart to his stories and a great imagination with all the team. He encourages them to go where they go. And you, you put on 3D glasses and you get to visit London and Paris and, uh, and Italy. And, and it's so vibrant. So it's, a, it's what we call, uh, what do we call it? The transmission, in, transmission impossible yes. kind of story. Oh, and this is uh, your second take on uh, Lightning McQueen. Um, I'm amazed at how popular this character is. Uh, yeah. Does it surprise you? His appeal is well, so it, you know, I, I was in um, Hawaii, and there's an Argentinian family that I'm friends with, and their children are just sort of fanatical uh, about cars. And, you know, uh, the kids watch them, you know, the movie, you know, 50 times. They really, you know, sort of just saturate themselves in, in, um, in it. So it, it is incredible to work on something that really does sort of uh, kind of work its way into the culture the way these Pixar movies do. Uh, having been sort of privy to the machinery of Pixar, Pixar is obviously one of the most envied studios in Hollywood. Uh, what is their secret? A freedom, of, freedom of imagination. Yeah. The the uh, the encouragement, John Lasseter. Of ideas. Yes, the encouragement yeah. of ideas. John Lasseter was blocked with his new ideas when he was early in his career. So he encourages people to go out and think openly. Um, so that is what they, they do. And they're in a freedom of position where they can try stuff out and they can rejig things if things aren't working. They can obviously get to the place where they can test out stories and make sure it's working. Yeah. How does that affect your performance? I mean, having to sort of work in a, a booth and not being able to work across from the actors that you have well, dialogue with. Yeah, for me, it's it's actually it's it's no problem. It's you know you go in there and John Lasseter is there, so you're kind of feeding off his sort of energy and his you know enthusiasm, and he kind of gives you the context of the scene, and then you just kind of do it and you kind of you know try different things, but. Uh, I actually sometimes find that you're sort of more streamlined and focused that way than if, uh, you know, in, you know, it, it's always great to work opposite somebody and kind of get it back and you'd get stuff from that, but, um, but this way seems to work also. And Eddie, you're, you're sort of accustomed to working with live crowds and with other actors. What was the process like for you? Did you embrace it as well? Well, this is the fourth animated um, film oh, I've done. Um, so you do get used to the style. It is, uh, if you tap into the childlike creativity that you had as a kid, that all us creative people have had to guard and protect, and, and that's what you unleash, uh, then you can do it because even though you're in one space, you can imagine all the other characters there. You can, someone can feed you lines. You can react to that. You can change your reactions. So it's, uh, it's, we have to do looping with live action films, we actually have to go back in and recreate some of the lines because the sound hasn't worked. And so it, 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 it's almost like a practice you already get a little animation bit of that films. Live action um, films. And the more we can do that, whatever life we can bring into it, the animators can take, because the, they video our, what we do, every line that we do, and then they watch them back and then they put it in the animation, or they just laugh at us <laughs> for, for making mistakes. Thank you.